this based dude on is... that tag, only one character can be coming out. Am I right? That's true. I mean, I, we had talked a little bit earlier about how he has a character pool. You know, he has Fox. I was saying he has Wolf, or you were saying he has Wolf, and I was saying that he also has that secret me brawler under, you know, up his sleeve. I don't know if we're ever going to see it come out in bracket, but he does have one. But of course, being the being the player formerly known as Larry Lur, LL Blue Jay is of course going to be sticking to Falco, and he's going up against his old crewmate, uh, Nico. Great news for Bird fans everywhere. Get the cause out in chat. We have got Falco representation here going up against Nico's patented Shulk. This boy has been playing Shulk for so many years. Mm -hmm. like, like, even when he wasn't, like, super busted in Smash 4, I would still say he was busted just because I would see the things Nico would do. But, hey, you know what? That Maybe that's just, like, SoCal things. I don't know. But now everyone, I'm sure, agrees. Shulk's got some stuff. Shulk's busted. Yeah, no, I Smash 4, Nico was still true to this character and was one of the few people that really made everyone second guess Shulk's assumed placement there. <laughs> now Shulk, much better character, and we're seeing Nico reap the rewards here. He's been a class threat ever since this game started, and uh, Larry's got his work cut out from here. As you can see, like of course, Nico utilizing the big nair that Shulk has access to. It covers all around him. Uh, similar to how uh, Cloud's Nair used to be, just covers pretty much the entire space around him. And really, Larry has to be able to utilize that or deal with it and then still punish after him, which is very difficult because like the, everyone has the, such low landing like in this game. Yep. And uh, on top of this, Shulk, big hitbox this game of the game. That's going to be especially difficult for a character like Falco that pauses before recovering off stage whenever he uses one of the specials. Oh, it's true. It's going to be a very easy tell for for Nico to uh, to try and get the either the ledge guard or the gimp. Here we go. The up tilt into back air. Mm -hmm. All that edge guarding not going to matter if you stay on stage and you get confirmed like that. Larry's showing us what Falco is capable of here. They're even trying to get mix up uh, Nico a little bit with the drag down forward air. We saw the parry actually come into play, but it doesn't matter. Larry still able to get the up tilt attack on 50%. And Nico okay, that was closing the stock. Really smart stuff from Nico there. Going into Smash to make that combo from Larry no longer true. And he's able to actually reverse it and take a stock off Larry in the process. Yeah, because you saw the adaptation that Larry had. We saw we saw Shield come out, and Larry immediately knew what to do. He was just doing these low knockback combos, keeping Nico right above him, just keep hitting him. And it wasn't until Nico switched the uh, uh, the launch that he was going to be receiving that it mixed up Larry. Mm -hmm. Here we go, speed. And oh, Shield's coming shield in just clutch. In time. Shield is too good. It is too it's good. Nice. It's too good. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have very strong opinions on shield. But I... Shield art, excuse me. Shield, yep. Yeah. All right, but Nico's the one with stage control now, and Larry can't get past the sword every time. You swing enough times, you're eventually gonna hit a bird. Mm-hmm. Oh, Buster mode. Okay, Nico. Nico's a huge fan of like really utilizing Buster, especially at these like early percents. It doesn't matter if he's at early percent, you're at early percent. He's gonna bring out the Buster and try and put some numbers up so that he can eventually switch into attack mode. Yeah, and this is all great extra credit for Nico right now. He was able to dodge those, you know, certain death attempts from Larry with shield, really well time shield. And now he's uh, he's on track to keep Larry off stage and just extend the oh, no! <laughs> okay, it's okay. Oh, you know what's so unfortunate? Nico was, he was going for it. He has switched into attack mode. Oh, and he was like trying to set up for the forward air that, because we knew that Larry has the illusion back to stage, right? Mm -hmm. He just got caught and Falco's illusion sends you straight down. It does, it does. Uh, Nico kind of bungling that edge guard attempt, but if he had succeeded with smash on, a forward air would have killed Falco. Oh, for sure. So I, sure. I get the play, but Larry uh, just a little too quick on his feet to get hit by it there. Okay, backing up with these forward there's these retreating forward airs are really working out for Nico, but getting caught and the uh, up throw into back air. 
Wow. Not able to escape with any kind of armor that time. Gonna fall victim to another one of Falco's very, very potent confirms. Very, very potent going up indeed. 1 0. And that's, I mean, that's a that's a huge statement for for Larry to be making because honestly, Nico should be excelling in this matchup due to his large sword and ability to space out Falco. Yeah, and not even mentioning his ability to adjust his weight for combos. Falco gets most of his mileage from like genuinely true things, and if you can make them not true on a whim. That totally throws the playbook out the window. So, uh, really good stuff to Larry for showing that he's able to overcome those deficits here and keep Nico on the ropes in a matchup that looks like it would be pretty hard. I mean, really, I mean, we know that Nico is going to be trying to zone out with his big sword against Larry, but when Larry gets in, that's when it's combo time. That's when it's go time for him. And even having to resort to shield mode off stage just so that the combos don't extend to a point where he's at death percent. Mm -hmm. And we're not seeing Larry let up at all. He is keeping his pressure on 100% of the time. And Nico seems like he's struggling to find his footy here. He's just always on the defensive. That's true, but look at the way that he continues to use Nair. Nair, of course, being his primary source of zoning. He is able to land a Nair, but like that's really it. It's just a boxing tool for him at this point. He's not able to convert and really extend his damage. He's just kind of getting a poking tool and saying, keep away from me, Larry. And Nico has cheated death already once with a uh, shield saving from a back air, but he hasn't been able to put on lots of meaningful damage in the process. Except, you know, Shulk only needs so much damage. He's got tools to get around that. And we see one of them on display right here with Smash. That's true. And that, and really, that's why we see, like, Nico playing this keep away style gameplay that he has been. Because as soon as Larry hits about 80% and he is in the corner, that's when Smash comes out, the red kill aura, and uh, Nico just starts swinging. If one Ooh. connects, that's a dead bird. Yep. We do see some adjustments from Larry. Larry got that last kill by running up and calling out uh, one of Nico's n attempts at Nair. Uh, just, just running up and up smashing it before it came out at all. That is a downside of Nair. It isn't like immediate. If it was, that would be just terrible. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I shudder to think of what Shelf Nair would be like if it was innocent. But uh, you know, Larry showing that he understands where the holes are in his opponent's kit. You need some time to start your stuff. And if I don't give you the time or the space, you're gonna have a harder go of it. That's right, time and space are definitely necessary. There we go, Larry Lur, of course, trying to trap out his opponent, looking for a jump at the ledge, but Nico just does a neutral getup, and there's another forward air trying to retreat, but a huge up smash from wow. Larry covering behind him, and with the uh, addition of smash mode on, on Nico, that was extra dead. That was, you know, this Falco up smash has to be one of the moves that they have buffed like the most times. As far as single move buffs go in the patches, like it's been fixed like three times at least. So definitely showcasing its improved hitbox there. Yeah, it almost makes me miss the old up smash, you know, where sometimes it would fall out. <laughs> it was always like, let's leave it up to RNG to see if this move's gonna work. It was exciting, it was like roulette. <laughs> It was! It was great! But I'm sure uh, all the Falcos in the chat and Larry himself are appreciating the uh, <laughs> consistency of the change. Not everyone's a gambler, and <laughs> I don't fault them for it. <laughs> <laughs> we okay, are on last it. stock right here. Pretty even match, although Larry Ooh. is fighting for stage control. Not at a high enough percent to spike and kill there, but still kind of reminded Nico of what he has to watch out for. Yeah, but it's really interesting, like, whenever Larry lands those illusions, because essentially Nico is approaching with forward air to try and get the kill, right? Or at least another hit onto Larry. But whenever that lands, that means that Nico didn't commit to going too far, far enough. Mm -hmm. I, he committed just enough there. And uh, it's going to win him the game here. We're tied up 1-1. One, one. That's true. Both of these players being members of two scoops. I pretty sure like these they've played plenty of times that's true that actually takes me back to the smash four days 
But yes, Nico evening the score one apiece. And Mr. LL Blue Jay himself is has the counter pick. Do you know if these players both like Pokemon Stadium? Because if both of them like it, I'm it might just be like a all the games on PS2 kind of set. I don't think either player has anything against Pokemon Stadium. I don't know if I could say that Larry likes the stage, but I don't think he has anything against the stage. Okay. And then, of course, these two players being uh, just so close to each other, for them to play all the all the matches on essentially a neutral stage wouldn't be surprising. Well, we are one step closer to that being a reality. We are back here, game number three. Same stage, same characters. They're they're just ready to show what they got, and they don't want anything getting in the way of that. That's right. Here you go, Larry landing a nair, and that's really all he needs to land to really put Nico in this tech situation. If he's still able to approach with these nairs, or even get nair out of shield, that's how he's going to execute his mileage. Mm -hmm. And, okay, there's uh, yeah, we're also going to be watching out for those up tilts. Although I think, given how Shulk tends to operate, we won't see quite as many of those connecting as something like Nair, because Shulk has enough distance on his sword to where if he's going to hit your shield, he has some room to drift away and avoid something like an up tilt. Yeah, honestly, like whenever we see those F up tilts coming out from play, it's either going to be when Nico's on a platform, or if Larry's trying to sneak underneath Nico and try and get like a pivot up tilt or something. And I like Larry's attempt there, running off trying to send Nico to a an early grave. I mean, I guess not early, but in shield mode it would be early. Uh, yes, with shield mode out, any kill is an early kill. <laughs> yes. Uh, doesn't end up working out, but he does find the stock through other means, and this is a, a pretty solid lead for Larry. He can just dodge Nico's edge guarding attempts, which are so difficult if you're Falco and you're in a position like that. Yeah, having those predictable recovery routes makes it very easy for you to get hit by a giant sword that Nico has. And of course, even at 60%, that was enough for, for Larry to lose the stock. Mm -hmm. Only needs a small opening. Nico's going to take it all the way, and uh, he's at a percent deficit right now. But, you know, with all the ways Shulk has to both survive and put on lots of damage and take early stocks, I, I, Nico's probably not too worried right now. Nope, nope. Honestly, with, with the ability to stay alive for much longer than usual and kill earlier than usual, uh, Nico should not be sweating just yet. Yeah, and I really like Nico's uh, dare there. That put on a lot of shield pressure and ended up poking. Uh, Larry was probably expecting some kind of cross up in there like Nico's been going for most of the sex. But those mix ups are going to get him the, the small little ins he needs to get through this wall and. <sighs> Get hit with up smash. <laughs> Just do it! Run up up smash. That's the spacey special if I've ever seen one. It sure is. And, uh, you know, really great awareness. Larry's like, I mean, maybe there have been like a couple that I haven't registered, but there have been multiple stocks from connected up smashes. He's got a good hit rate with that move. Yes, he does. And of course, like, it also helps that it hits behind him. So even like those ledge get up situations where you're not really sure is my opponent in front of me, behind me, because you're just so close together, us smash is going to hit both. And Nico already... Oh, he actually that. landed it! There he you did go. it! There you go. <laughs> wow! And he talks trash on the way out? Are you kidding me? Oh, I, it's so entertaining. <laughs> That, how many characters have their victory screen as basically an extra taunt? <laughs> only, a, only a salty bird would have that. <laughs> he earned the right for that, uh, that little exchange, though, because that was a very clean last 30 seconds of the game for Larry. And he straight up said that I gotta go and I don't got time for this. Yeah. I mean, they were completely <laughs> neck and neck until, like, the last 30 seconds, and then Larry just cranked it up to 11. <laughs> you got to go, son. I'm out. <laughs> All right, well, LL Blue Jay, Larry Lur himself is one game away from advancing uh, to top eight of this invitational bracket. Will Nico be able to halt the momentum? 
turn the tides back in his favor, change the future. We will find out here. That's right. Oh. So Illusion, fortunately, lands Nico onto the platform, and that's prime up tilt position. That is super not where Shulk wants to be right now. Um, every escape option seems to be cut off by Larry here. He's just you know, hounding Nico, and although he isn't able to find a kill, Nico is still off stage, real far away from safety. That's right. And of course, Nico uh, was forced to recover low. Still in jump mode, has to use the air slash, not having access to a second jump. But down tilt? What? That was down tilt, right? He was down tilt at a high enough percent. It's gonna kill. Dude. Yeah, I know we talk about like a lot of the changes that Falco did and how he's like really a uh, cutscene character. We haven't really seen the cutscene come into play too often here in this set. But one change that does not get talked about enough is Falco's down tilt. That thing is busted. Very good, very good move. Uh, yeah, and and we're seeing why right here. Larry's already got some crazy mileage from it. We're starting to see the RPs out of shield come from Nico now and start finding the mark. Uh, and also is able to keep Larry on ledge until he gets up into that back air. Nico not out of this just yet. Yeah, but... let's see a little bit of a combo from Larry putting about 30 onto Nico, but now Larry being at the ledge, that's typically where Nico is going to get most of his damage from. Nico trying to mix things up, not going for the second air slash hit, falling through the platform, but Larry is able to wait and still punish him for it. And of course, these two players going back and forth once again. Speed mode online. Typically, you don't see the oh, no, blue come out. It. Yep. I'm pretty sure that up smash covers the entire platform. <laughs> it looked like there was literally nowhere Nico could have gone. Metal he legs and metal platform. boots shouldn't yeah. be laying down there. Got a tech. Larry's going to punish you if you don't. Uh, Nico can still bring this back. Shulk can be a comeback character for sure, but uh, he's got to play it safe because Larry has shown that he is ready to catch and punish Nico's landings. And did you see what just occurred? Larry was able to escape the ledge and retreated to the other side of the stage until Smash Mode wore off. As soon as that red aura disappeared, guess what? Larry's back in the game. He's back on the hunt. Bird of prey right here. That's true. And an up B out of shield. These multi-hits are very good tools for Larry to pressure and cross up. However, it does make you susceptible to up B out of shield. Although, uh, Nico, he's got to he's got to take real good care of shield here because he is on dangerous footing at a percent yes. like this. Larry, did you see that pummel? Lock on shield. He not only he did so much work on that shield. He he may have only gotten a pummel. And no, oh. that's not how you want to see the set end. That was so underwhelming. Oh, it's so unfortunate. But Larry Lur, Mr. LL Blue Jay himself, is gonna make top eight. Congratulations to him. That was uh. I just really smartly played all throughout the set from him. Nico had some wonderful moments. Uh, looked like there was maybe a comeback in the works. Shulk can do it. Nico can do it. I know everyone talks about Nico stocks lasting forever. Uh, but Larry, uh, you know, just didn't let up on the pressure. And that, I think, tipped the scales in his favor here.